intercepted by Galan in front, redirected, Iserman scores! Well, the Flyers really look down and out right now. When the Flyers bottomed out in the early 90s, their first step back up was a trade they made when Eric Lindros came along. The trade for Lindros with him is obviously probably one of the biggest ones in the history, uh, him and Wayne. He came in here with an awful lot of fanfare, an awful lot of pressure. And in his early years, he, he lived up to all that. He's one of the great talents to ever play for that team. Just the, the stuff he could do. It was just amazing, the strength he had, the physical powers on the ice. Oh! He was the first building block of the Flyers as they arose again in the 90s. Prior to the 1995 season, former defenseman Terry Murray returned to the Flyers as head coach and immediately focused on restoring the team's playoff pride. There was urgency for the Flyers to make the playoffs after five years of missing the playoffs. And when we got those first ten games of the season underway and uh, things weren't going the way we wanted, uh, Clarkie made a great trade with Montreal. And we ended up getting uh, John LeClair and Eric Desjardins. Instantaneous after the trade happened, and they went from pretender to contender, almost like a, a switch was flipped. Over the line, look at that, LeClair right on in, shoot, high score! Johnny LeClair wasn't a big scorer when he came. He had potential, but he didn't know that he was like this volcano about to erupt. John LeClair, welcome to Philadelphia. The fans love you already. Feeding off their new teammates' energy, the Flyers regained the swagger of years past. Hey, this is like the old Philadelphia Flyers. Yeah, this is the Broad Street Bullies we got back. Since the trade, the Flyers have been dynamite. It wouldn't take long for number 10 to elevate his game and help form one of the most dynamic scoring lines in history with one of history's most memorable nicknames. Shouldn't call them the Legion of Doom. You should call them the Eclipse. You can't see the sun in front of you. Folks, you're looking at the best line in hockey right now. This is the top line in the sport. If that was your job that night to cover those guys, you knew at the end of the night you were going to be completely exhausted. It's scary sometimes to play against those guys because they were physical. They were big, they were strong, they were fast. They could go around you, but they could go through you, go over you too. It was just a scary line to be playing against. Lindros steamrolling people, Leclerc knocking people out of the way to score goals. Renberg, with his speed and quickness down the wing, boy, he was an explosive player. Ahead for Renberg on the breakaway. That line just uh, gelled well together. I give them the puck and it would make things happen. Led by the Legion, Philadelphia returned to glory and dramatically closed out the regular season against their newest rival. The Devils had been kind of a nemesis. They were an emerging nemesis. John LeClair tried to turn the pass and run Rainford battling for it. Oh, the touch goal! They were champs, and it seemed like just a couple months earlier that they were looking like a team that might be really headed for a long, long drought, but it turned around that quickly. We made the playoff my first year, and uh, it was a great feeling. In the playoffs, they played the Sabres and then blew the Rangers out. The Flyer team has come a long way under Bobby Clark in a real hurry, haven't they? Boy, did they ever turn around their season? The Flyers dethroned the Rangers when they were Stanley Cup champions in the Starlink series. The Devils would get their revenge in the Eastern Conference Finals, putting an end to Philadelphia's storybook season. And a terrific run for the Flyers. We came close to really doing a lot of good things in that first year. That summer at the NHL Awards, League MVP Eric Lindros issued a heartfelt statement to the Flyers' faithful. Thank you to the fans of Philadelphia who supported us when we weren't so good. We're getting better, and we're going to do it. Just two years later, the Flyers would embark on yet another successful playoff run. The Flyer fans celebrate. All of Philadelphia believed this was the year the Flyers would bring Lord Stanley home. Standing in their way would be the Western Conference champion, 
Detroit Red Wings. Most everyone I talked to felt the Flyers were going to win that series. I thought, boy, the way this hockey club's playing right now, Detroit can't play. Just can't play it. And you got there and it took about two periods to say, whoa, that's something special over there. We let a couple of bad goals in the first two games at home and then we just never really got it going. The Red Wings have taken the Flyers' game plan and ripped it up. They beat us four straight, they dominated us, and, and we really weren't in the series right from the start. The 1997 Detroit Red Wings are Stanley Cup champions! As it turned out, the Red Wings were a very good team, but I think a lot of people underestimated the Flyers. This was supposed to be their moment, but the Red Wings got in the way.